Good morning, everyone. It is my great pleasure to welcome you to Tycon 2012. 20 years ago, a tablet was something that you took when you were sick. Tweeting was for the birds, and the way we communicated was completely different. Cell phone was big and clunky, did not fit in your pocket. It was only available to a select few. And guess what? You actually used it to make a phone call. 20 years ago, the World Wide Web became available for mass consumption with a new technology that would fundamentally change the world as we knew it. And 20 years ago, that little company Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg, was just eight years old. Today, we're LinkedIn, Facebooking it, Twittering around town, and digging it with Pinterest. Do you know what all these things have in common? They were born of an idea by an entrepreneur. If you haven't seen the recent cover of Forbes, everybody knows who Justin Bieber is. You should know who Justin Bieber is if you have a tweeny something daughter. But Justin Bieber announced that he's taking a page from the Silicon Valley playbook. He actually announced that he's investing in hot startup companies. You know what this means? This means the tide has shifted. The rock stars want to be like us, the geeks. It is actually cool to be a geek. And entrepreneurs, you're the new rock star. This is the center of the universe right here, right now. You are the center of the universe. Actually, Ty was founded 20 years ago by an idea, the idea to foster entrepreneurship. That's why we're delighted to announce the launch of the Thai Youth Forum, because these are the entrepreneurs who are going to pave the way for the next 20 years of entrepreneurship. And I can't stand up here, of course, without thanking the army of volunteers, my very talented staff, and of course, our wonderful sponsors who take the journey to Tycon with us year upon year. For the past six months, we've been preparing for this, and sometimes it seems like it's been 20 years. But I think most of all, we have to thank the leaders and the founders of Thai, who paved the way for the first 20 years. And they've taught us that it is our responsibility to ourselves and to the next generation to create excellence, to foster excellence, and to make sure that we are excellent in everything that we do as entrepreneurs. And now, it is my great pleasure to welcome the head geek, the grand poobah of geekdom, our president, Mr. Vish Mishra. Thank you, Kiran, for that generous introduction. And uh, I want to also thank your small and mighty team of Patricia, Herney, and Shilpi for the, all their hard work, all dedication. So thank you very, very much, okay? Appreciate it, thank you. Uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, if you think you are here for the Facebook IPO, I'm sorry, uh, I think uh, that, uh, that board has left already, so. Welcome to the 20th anniversary edition of Tycon. You have traveled from far and near from six continents and 100 cities. Thank you. I also welcome and recognize Thai's founders, Thai trustees, Thai presidents, executive directors, and our charter members who are the backbone of Thai. You are the reason for Thai's success, so thank you very, very much. What you are going to experience over the next two days is volunteerism at its best. Highly successful people have generously given the time and expertise to make Tycons happen. And this has been happening for the last 19 years in a row. The, the volunteers, they design the program, they do the marketing, and they take care of our attendees and treat them like our guests. You are all either seeking success or already highly successful. So thank you for coming to Tycon. Tycon always 
strives to be inspirational, relevant, and forward-looking. We believe that this special edition, Tycon 2012, is the only conference in the world to inspire, educate, prepare, and fund entrepreneurs in areas like social, mobile, cloud, energy, and life sciences. Our audience of entrepreneurs, investors, seasoned corporate executives, professionals, and yes, young students, high school and college students, they're all here just to, for one thing. It's all about business building, wealth creation, and to enrich the communities in which we operate in, and the community of customers, community of founders, community of executives, employees, and investors. I request you to fully benefit from the fruits of the labor of over 250 volunteers and 150 speakers in producing the conference. I further urge you to get to know many of the 3,000 guests gathered over here over the next two days. My very special thanks to SAP, our grand sponsor. The generous contributions already also have been made by our gold sponsors, and that's Salesforce.com, Ernst & Young, Emirates Airlines, Fujitsu, and our own Thai Angels. So thank you very much. I also want to recognize all our silver annual and supporting sponsors for their contribution, both in cash as well as in kind. I ask all of you to take full advantage of the two days to find your next big idea, your investor, your advisor, your customer, a talent, or a partner. I believe that this is the best investment you could make for an insanely great return. Finally, to quote Henry Ford, one of the greatest entrepreneurs of our modern times, he says, coming together is the beginning, staying together is progress, but working together is success. I wish you all long-lasting success. So connect, innovate, and prosper. Now, let me take a moment to invite Jay Rawat, our convener. This is his second year as a convener. He is a successful serial entrepreneur who is on his fourth startup called Shop Socially. He's a distinguished IIT alum, and during the dot-com days, he was listed among the 10 top entrepreneurs joining the ranks of Narayan Murthy, the founder of Infosys. No wonder, under his leadership last year, Tycon 2011 was ranked among the 10 best conferences in the world for ideas and entrepreneurship. So I want him to come and tell you what's in store for the next two days. So Jay. Thank you very much. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, and thank you for that very nice introduction. Congratulations, congratulations. Can I, can I get a copy of that for my in-laws? Oh, it's been recorded, you can YouTube right now. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Good morning. It's my pleasure and honor to welcome you all to Tycon 2012, the world's largest conference for entrepreneurs. We believe that there is an entrepreneur in every one of us, that the will to create and innovate is encoded in the human DNA. And it is the same core belief that was behind the formation of Thai 20 years ago to unlock that entrepreneur, to provide the spark of inspiration for starting the entrepreneurial journey, to educate and mentor to be successful in that quest, and to help connect with the right fellow passengers along the way. But this journey is not an easy one. Entrepreneurs, by very definition, are unreasonable people. For it is only when you defy the norms, question the conventional wisdom, that you can make discontinuous progress. For entrepreneurs, being safe is risky. 
For entrepreneurs, failure is just learning, a stepping stone to being successful. If you can learn from a defeat, you haven't really lost. Entrepreneurs understand that it is not because the things are difficult that we do not dare. It's because we do not dare that they are difficult. At Tycon, we dare them. We dare them to try, we dare them to innovate, and we dare them to succeed. And Tycon provides the platform and the tools to help you achieve that. As Vish mentioned, Tycon 2011 was ranked as one of the top 10 conferences in the world on ideas and innovation. We are both proud and humbled by that achievement. And I promise you that Tycon 2012 will be even better. So let me tell you what we have in store for you over the next two days and how can you get the best out of this conference. I'll start with the four keynotes that we have. The starting keynote today is Vishal Sikka. I had met Vishal about 12 years ago when we were both doing our own little startups. 12 years later, I'm still doing my own little startup. And Vishal is now breathing that startup innovation passion into a corporate giant, SAP. And he's going to have a revolutionary talk about innovation without disruption. And interviewing him will be Robert Guest, business editor at The Economist. Our second keynote for the day is a person who was barely out of his teens when he started his company. And now at a ripe age of 28, he's successfully taking on Google, Microsoft, and other giants. Aaron Levy, founder and CEO of Box, in a fireside conversation with Paul Singh, will share his story of entrepreneurship, inspiration, and success. The third keynote, the opening keynote for tomorrow, is Carlos Dominguez, senior vice president of Cisco and a tech nowist. Carlos is a phenomenal speaker, and he will share the much needed survival tips for entrepreneurship. And a fourth and final keynote, the closing keynote for the conference, is another iconic name, a brilliant innovator, an incredible entrepreneur, father of telecom revolution in India, Sam Petroda. Sam has already done decades of work in using technology for the benefit and betterment of society. But he's not done yet. He will share his journey, the work he's doing now, and how can you contribute and participate in that. So those are our four great keynotes, phenomenal opportunity to listen to them and draw inspiration from them. But a tie, while inspiration is one of the cornerstones, we also like to challenge our audience. We like to push the limits of your imagination, jolt you out of your comfort zone, and force you to think beyond the obvious. And our two breakthrough thinker speakers will do just that. This afternoon, we have Dr. Deepak Chopra, who needs no introduction. And he's going to talk about science and spirituality. And we also have a great opportunity to collect signed autographed copies of his books. He'll be signing his books from 12.15 to 1.15 in the expo area. So while Dr. Chopra is going to help us humans become more self-aware, the second breakthrough thinker speaker for tomorrow is going to take us to the other extreme. He's going to talk about how computers are becoming more self-aware. Scary stuff. Or maybe not. Let's find out. We'll hear from Dr. Anand Agrawal from MIT, who's going to talk about computers that learn. All right, so we talked about getting out of the comfort zone, getting inspired. But inspiration without education will only take you so far. Our breakout sessions are designed to provide you that education. They're divided into four categories. The vertical tracks will cover in-depth discussions on five different verticals, social, mobile, cloud, energy, and life sciences. The entrepreneurship track will give you the how-to lessons on entrepreneurship. How to raise money, how to build your team, how to take your products to market, and much more. The Thai Women Forum is going to inspire the women entrepreneurs 
and the newly introduced Thai Youth Forum is for the young entrepreneurs. It's going to pair the experienced, such as Vinod Khosla and Tim Draper, with the young, such as 11-year-old Cameron, who started his company while he was recovering from surgery in a hospital. So it's a great opportunity. If you have kids that are high school or college age, I think you should bring them along on Saturday and register them for the Thai Youth Forum. It's going to be a phenomenal session. And at this point, I would like to take a moment to thank Yogesh Agrawal and Sanjay Sate and the content team for putting together this phenomenal content. Let's give them a hand. So as I promised, we have a phenomenal content for you, but guess what? It gets even better. And to tell you all about that, I'm going to invite my co-convener, Farhat Ali, on the stage. Farhat is the president of Intechnology, was formerly the president of president and CEO of Fujitsu America, overseeing over 10,000 employees worldwide. He's a summa cum laude graduate from Princeton with a BSE degree in computer science and an MBA from Harvard. And he has assured me that there are no errors in his resume. <laughs> Parat. Thank hey, you, Jay, thank you for that great introduction. Now, the question is if there is something wrong in the resume, are you in more trouble than me? <laughs> we'll let the board decide. <laughs> Welcome to uh, TACON 2012. Uh, and thank you for coming. Uh, putting together TACON, uh, the greatest show on earth for fostering entrepreneurship, takes the collective effort of many, many people. I would like to thank the sponsors, the exhibitors, the vendors, and the volunteers uh, who have made this possible. I also would like to thank each and every one of you uh, for attending this event. And we promise you a rewarding, enjoyable, and pleasant experience. An opportunity to learn and be inspired. An opportunity to develop lasting both personal and professional friendships and relationships. And an opportunity for you to engage, to contribute, and have fun. In addition to the outstanding keynotes, breakthrough thinkers, and panels, uh, which Jay has already covered, we have many, many other activities. It is going to be hectic. You have shown up, and so stay up to maximize the investments you have made. You snooze, you lose. The theme for Tycon 2012 is connect, innovate, and prosper. Deepak and Prakash and the team have worked very hard on Connect. You have the opportunity to connect with mentors at lunch. Exhibitors have the opportunity to connect with VCs and angel investors. And thanks to marketing, under the leadership of Paul, Gotham, and Anand, uh, they have the ability to connect. You have the ability to connect with each other uh, if you have downloaded the uh, mobile application. Also, you can good old-fashioned tweet. That's getting old now. Tweet to your heart's content. And uh, use social media uh, to your heart's content. If you need to connect one-on-one, -on -one, just beyond here is a platinum lounge, where if you want to discuss something with a client uh, or a friend, have a drink, enjoy yourself, take a little break from all the activities. By the way, there will be press lurking around there. Uh, so feel free to share your honest opinion uh, regarding this event uh, with them. Just beyond the Platinum Lounge, uh, you can witness the content come to life with real offerings. Manoj, Bob, and their teams have put together a great innovation expo where hundreds of companies are there. Visit the expo and meet that client or that customer or that engineer, or that partner who can make you and your company prosper. Talking about prospering, Thai 50, under the leadership of Ram, has made quite a brand. In fact, uh, in my regular work, I come across many resumes where they proudly display Thai 50 uh, company as a company uh, the individual has worked for. 
So please attend the Thai 50 winners' presentations and awards and learn how to prosper. Thai itself has connected, innovated, and prospered. And we end Saturday with the platinum celebration to honor Thai's 20 years of achievements. Harbeer and her crew have once again Thai put together a great show featuring the well-known Kailash Khair. The banquet is sold out, but there is still opportunity for people who have not signed up as yet to take part in the festivities by purchasing the entertainment only portion of the uh, event. One of the design points we used this year had to do with user interface and user experience. Uh, you should see lots of volunteers here with a big smile. Please ask them for any help you need, and they will be very, very happy to direct you to whatever your needs are. We want to make this Tycon experience for you the best ever. Mateen, Raj, Sharat, and Bharat, that's our guest services team and our systems team, have worked very, very hard to make this an enjoyable and memorable experience for all of you. This is your opportunity to create history. Let us work together. Let us make this the greatest event possible. Let us jointly connect, innovate, and prosper. Thank you very much.